How's it going, Beast Nation? We're back with some more My NBA 2K19. And we have a Flash Gauntlet, which is honestly what was randomly thrown out to me. I saw it last night uh, when I was like already going to sleep because I was exhausted. Yesterday, I didn't do a, a results video on the Flash event for Rivals Clash, but I'll just have y'all know I I didn't play it. I couldn't. I couldn't. I wasn't. I wasn't gonna be able to get any cards or anything out of it. Uh, I think I ended up getting what's his face, Marco Fultz. Was that the card? Was it? Yeah, the Marco Fultz. I got. That's what I ended up getting. Which is no wait. No, I didn't. No, my bad. I didn't. I should have. Wow, I should have gotten that though. But no, I ended up getting a Frank Kaminsky, the alterer. Like that's how badly I just did not play because I was tired. I got home from work. I was exhausted. I don't know why. I just felt like I felt terrible. So yeah, but it's fine. We're good now. We have a gauntlet, which I like personally better because uh, I like the flash events better with this, or how should I say it? I like I like the gauntlet and KOTC over Rivals Clash in the sense only when I'm busy, when I have like a busy schedule for the weekend or a busy schedule in the, during the week. Like for the flash events during the week, if I have a busy schedule, that's when I like the gauntlet or uh, pay what you see because they have game nights you can play you play the game nights and then while you're not playing the game nights or you, like I can pretty much like especially the gauntlet I like it more because I'm just clicking on like whatever I'm clicking on the bottom of my screen and I'm gonna win you know because I'm pretty much guaranteed so like I can be doing something else and just pressing on my phone I could be watching something else and just be pressing on the bottom of my phone because any card I pick I will win in the beginning now towards the end with is will be like when I'm not busy more than likely then I would have to focus a little bit more but usually I can just press whatever <laughs> but the reason I don't like the Rivals Clash is because I have to be playing I have to have like a free schedule every day for Rivals Clash in order for me to get a good card like in order for me to get the event card I have to pretty much be busy for like top no uh, how do I say I don't know the right I don't know the right words to say this but I can only be busy for three hours in order for me to get the maybe I'll, I'll, I'll give myself more leeway about five hours I can only I can only not play the game for five hours more or less that's just like you know like I don't remember exactly but like I'm just estimating like how much time I have to rest and not play the game is five hours the rest of those hours I have to play them you know what I mean obviously that's that the five hours is not not, not including sleep it's not including the sleep that's you know that's already like you know, eight, seven, six hours, depending on how much people. Oh no, no, it's not gonna be Every time, man, I'm always gonna train a good card away. <laughs> Even though I don't really need epics, but still, I think it's a dupe. Um, but yeah, that like that's why I like it because I don't like while the game mates are reloading, I can do whatever I want. I can work. I can study for school. I can do homework for school, or you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know. That's the only reason why I like them. That's that's one of the reasons why I like them over over Rivals Clash. But I still ult like in a whole, as a whole, I would say I still like Rivals Clash just because it's easier for me to get. I think right now, I think this year I might or like right now at this moment, I think I might like the the Gauntlet more just because like now my deck is gonna be a little bit better. Like starting off for the first Gauntlet, I'm gonna have a like I think I'm gonna have a an elite deck, so I should be good to get like the first elite card or maybe even the second elite card depending how they how they have it but right now this flash gauntlet i should get an epic prime dupe which is awesome because that's something i would like that was something i wanted in the flash robbers clash event but i couldn't get it because i was working like when i got out of work i was behind so much i think i had like uh 150 some and i think they were like at I want to say 750, maybe 650. Or eight, they're around there. They were, they were, they were, they were around there. 750 to like 950, around there. So I was already like, dude, I'm not gonna do this because <laughs> this is Robbers Clash. You gotta remember, other people are playing also. So like, it's like, there's no breaks. You have no no leeway. I, th I think that's how you say the word leeway, or is it leeway? I don't know. But you guys know what I mean. There's no time for breaks. You can't like be like, okay, you know what? I'll take a break from the game. I won't play for, you know, a couple of hours or whatever. Like you kind of have to play in order to get what you want. 
So I guess in that sense, I would say Rival's Clash kind of sucks. But other than that, Rival's Clash is cool because, like, if you have a free schedule, like me, you ain't got no friends like me, you ain't got no, no plans like me, <laughs> you're not going to no parties like me, and you're good, you're golden, you can, you can get a badass card out of Rival's Clash. You can get the event card. That's how I did. I mean, I, I've... I think I've done it once without no yeah I've done it every every time I've every time I've uh, played Rivals Clash and I get the event card I've done it without spending credits just by pulling just by pulling you know the the what the grits they're not they're not well they're not called grits but I forgot what they're called in the in Rivals Clash because like I said I don't really play it I know for for KOTC they're called court control um and here I guess they're called grits but I don't know what the with the uh, Rivals Clash is one, I forgot. But I would just pull, they, they were called Hot Streaks, so I'm just gonna call them Hot Streaks now. So I would pull Hot Streaks, Hot Streaks, I would pull them off the boards. I wouldn't pay for them in Rivals Clash. Um, now, can you see, I know I paid for, for court controls or Hot Streaks, or whatever you wanna call them. I paid for them for to, for me to get, so I can get this uh, Jason Tatum here. But in Rivals Clash, whenever I got the event card out of that, I never paid any credits. I never spent any credits on it. I mean, I might have, maybe like once or twice, but like, I, I mean in the sense of, I didn't go out of my way to spend actual money to get credits to buy hot streaks. You know what I mean? Like I did with King of the Court. Now, I believe, I'm pretty sure I know I did one. Like, I think the Lonzo Ball that I did last year, I don't think I spent any credits at all. I just did it by playing the game normally, every day, as often as possible, for multiple hours of the day, and I got the car. So that's what I like about it. Like just pure it's not it's not pay to win it's not it's, it's a it's a it's not pay to win event like king of the court like the only way i got this damn card i had to pay you know what i mean but it's fine because you know like those 10 bucks were kind of like they were just there i had 10 bucks in my paypal account i was like what are these 10 bucks doing here let me use them let me just use them you know what else was i gonna use those 10 bucks on you know what i mean so i was like screw it my first time let's do it and I really wanted to get a King of the Court event card because I never got one. I was never, like, not even close to getting one. I don't think I've ever gotten an elite, uh, an elite card or an Epic Prime out of King of the Court. So I was like, let's do this, man. This is the first event. Let's get this event card. You know what I mean? So I was like, let's do it. But that's what I, that's one thing I like about, that's another thing that I like about, uh, uh, King of the Court. I mean, Robert's Cash, sorry. Over King of the Court and stuff. Like, you don't really have to pay. You just gotta play. Like, that's just it. But that's another, that's also another thing that kind of sucks. You kind of have to... So, it's, like, it depends what kind of mindset you have on the game. And on the events. Like, would you rather have it so that you pay and you win? Like, if you put in your money and you win, you're gonna get the guarantee? Or would you rather have it so that you just play? You know what I mean? So that's what I think about Rivals Clash. You know, you just play and you're gonna get the card. While with King of the Court, you kind of have to spend some credits. Rivals, I mean, uh, the Gauntlet, you kind of have to spend some credits. Because I actually think, I think in the Gauntlet, I'm almost positive you have to spend credits in order to get all the cards. Because you have to spend credits to get more game nights. Because I don't think you have enough game nights. Like, if you were to play, I think if you were to play, like, no sleep or anything. No sleep no schedule or anything you just let it and, and you don't let a single game night go to waste when i mean go to waste i mean you don't let your game nights full up fill up and then you just like that's it you know you have them full for a couple of minutes or something like no you play it like right when there's like a like five seconds left for for it to be full and you click on it and you click play uh and you just do that every day without no sleep or anything i don't i honestly do not think you can get the you can get the event card I think you might get up to the first event card, but then like completing completing the gauntlet, I don't think you can do that without without like with doing it the way I'm saying. Because I, I that's just me. Like I think like I, I I remember one time I did like a little bit of math on that, and I tried I didn't try it, but I meant like I tried doing math. I mean, trust me, I suck at math, but like I I put some time into that a little bit, so it's not concrete. But like I remember doing that and i remember hey no you're not gonna be able to, you wouldn't be able to get this like you would have to spend credits to get game nights and you would have to spend credits to use the hot streaks or what they're now called grits in order to get the event card both event cards i think and i 
I think I think even the first event card too. I'm not positive, but that's just me. Like I like this game, this event. Oh, excuse me. It's pretty much pay to get to get the event card. But while Bravo's Clash really isn't. Like you can obviously, right? If you wanna, you know, go beyond. But it's not really. You know what I mean? Because I've done it before. I've done I've gone an event card without spending any credits. Without spending any money. So yeah. That's yeah, screwed. I don't care. Um but yeah, I think i I think I'm gonna end it here. I think that's all I wanted to say about the gauntlet and stuff. So yeah. Let me know what you guys got in the flash Rob Sketch. I know I'm late, but like I said, I was exhausted. I didn't feel like doing anything. Oh, woo -hoo, credits. I mean, tickets, tickets. I want to get another ticket. Paragon goals. Heck, get off my screen. Get off my screen, extra credits. Is that gonna be, okay, that's what I say. Is that really going to be on my screen forever? <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm ending here already. If you all enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for some more videos. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.